Welcome to another In Motion Hosting video tutorial. My name is Arnel Custodio, and today we're going to be talking about the Gutenberg plugin. Before we start, it should be noted that the plugin is for developmental purposes. If you're creating content for production, then we recommend you use the editor that comes with the WordPress core installation. The Gutenberg Visual Editor was merged into the core code for WordPress in version 5.0. The current version of Gutenberg is up to 8.6.1. You can always get the most recent version of the Gutenberg plugin through the WordPress repository. Once you have the plugin loaded, you'll immediately notice the difference in how the editor interface has been restructured. In version 8.6, you will see that the blocks are listed on the left side of the screen, and you can immediately add content. The default version shows how you can't see the content of the poster page until after you have selected a block. So here you can see that we have the Gutenberg plugin loaded and you can see the area here for where you can immediately start adding content and then all the blocks for the Gutenberg uh, interface is on the left. So you can see that all the common ones and then you have a new column here which was added, the reusable column and then if you look at patterns, something that's also something that's new that you won't see in the default version is set here as well. If you were to click to add any of these, you just had to click on it there and then it will appear immediately in the content window. There have been a lot of improvements added to the Gutenberg plugin that you will not see in the default version. To learn more about these improvements, make sure to go check out the WordPress GitHub page for each of these plugin add ons. Or you can also learn more about it by having a test installation of WordPress and loading the actual plugin. One of the other big differences that you'll find in the plugin versus what you'll see in the default uh, version of Gutenberg is the help options for your blocks and your actual visual interface. So if you actually come here, you'll see that these are all just the blocks that you can add to your site using the Gutenberg interface. So if you go up here to the top, you can also go to something called help. And here you can see that they've actually modified the way help is available. When you look at the default version, you'll see that there's an immediately a description of the block that you're looking at. They've basically made it more contextual where if you roll over it, you'll see it pop up as you go over each block. This ends our video tutorial on the Gutenberg plugin. To learn more about its use, make sure to check out our WordPress education channel in our WordPress support center. Thanks again for watching and have a great day. Check out our InMotion hosting support center for help with your website. We provide thousands of step-by-step -step guides, videos, and much more to lead you towards making your online project a successful one. You can find us at www.inmotionhosting.com support.